Hello friends, my name is Anand and today my topic is implicit weight in selenium. In my previous class or, or in previous video, I have explained that what is weight in selenium, why we use weight in selenium and what are the types of weight we used in selenium. Basically friends, there are three types of weights in selenium. First one is implicit weight. Second one is explicit weight and the last one is the fluent weight. I will explain one by one. Okay. So, also I have given the annotation at the right corner of the video. Firstly, I recommend you that firstly go through that video and then after watching that video, please follow this video. So, let's start. My today, today's topic is implicit weight. So friend, an implicit weight is to tell web driver to wait for a certain amount of time when trying to find an element or elements if they are not immediately available. Let's explain this with the help of example. To understand this, let's take an example and go through go to the expedia.co.in here is the site friends this is very heavy site and this site takes time means some time to load on web browser if you try to find it out the web element of these things last minute deals, deals, rewards, mobile and travel block, block then it will take some time as I told you that this is very heavy site so it takes some time to load your test script tries to find out the web element on this page on this page completely and immediately but page is not completely loaded so you will be av not able to find web element so you must have to go to th through the wait friends next point about is that we should note that implicit wait will be in place for the entire time of the browser is open this means that any search for element it may be last minute deals rewards or mobile on the page could take time the implicit weight is set for in simple words we can say that if you apply implicit weight on an element then it will take full time specified by you means if you set wait for t wait for this deal element is 10 second but if the web element found in 5 second but you set the web implicit wait time is 10 second then it will take totally 10 seconds Okay, so let's move to the next point. Friend, friends, implicit wait time is used when you want to configure the web driver's wait time as the whole for the application under test. Means, to understand this, for example, if you want to find it out web element of last minute deals, deals and rewards. Okay, and to find the web element, last minute deals take 5 second deals takes 10 second and rewards take 15 second to load over the page then you have to set maximum time means 15 second in the implicit weight so another example of is that for example you have a hosted web application on the local server and the remote server and means you have application that is also on the local server and the and on the web server 
then it is obvious that the time to load for a web page hosted on the local server would be less than the time for the same page hosted on the remote server so implicit time for the both server will be different one important thing is that web driver provides the manage method to manage the implicit weight on any web page if you write the script with the help of uh, web driver then you have to use the manage method ok so friends let's move to the our slide yeah here is the syntax here is the syntax of the implicit weight this is in the first line explained that hey, this is the method having name this is the uh, implicit wait time this is the class implicit wait time and this is the main function and here we, here we create the object of the firefox driver this is the main syntax means firstly you have to write the driver dot manage method after that timeout after that implicit wait time given out time unit and seconds now i am going to extend one by one with the help of web driver we are going to manage that's why we are using manage what we are going to manage we are going to manage time so after that we use timeout management function and after timeout by which weight we are going to manage we are going to manage implicit weight then this is the time given after that time unit and second it means that we are going to manage time out by implicit weight and the implicit weight is the implicit weight value is 10 second okay this is the syntax so friends let's move to the next slide when to use implicit weight Friends, when you want to specify a maximum wait time, which is generally common for the most of the web element on your web application, based on the condition as a developer of your web driver test cases, you have to arrive at the value for the maximum implicit wait time, such that your test cases don't take too long to execute and at the same time don't time out very frequently let's ex explain it with the help of example let's move to the expedia.co.in for example if we check the wait time for the different element of, the, of this web page for example last for the last minute deal it is 10 second deals is it is 15 second and rewards for it is 20 second and 20 second is the maximum wait time to load this page ok so we will use 20 seconds in our implicit wait method ok so I think this point will be clear for you next move to the next slide what is the conclusion conclusion is that implicit wait it only check the presence of the element of the web page that's all if elements are hidden or any other condition then it will not handle it will be fail of your script it means that if any of the web element is hidden then with the help of implicit weight you cannot find it out the web element of that particular particular element and your script will be fail ok friends let's move to the program I have written a program that is going to explain the working of the implicit way let's move to the eclipse yeah here firstly I want to tell you some points I am making this program with the use of test ng so there is no need to use main method 
okay let's start firstly here i have make an class name implicit weight example and in the second line i have make the reference of firefox driver and here we i am using before class friends in test ng before class is the class that is used to execute only once before all the test cases it executed only once so i want to open the url only once so i will use i another method public void open url method and after that i made the i make the object of the firefox driver and driver dot get and the url to open the url okay this line system property set property is used because i am use the giko driver i am using the giko driver because uh, i am using the latest version of firefox that i have to use here in this line i have given the path of the giko driver dot exe okay that's all after that i have to make a test at the rate test annotation because i want to test again with within this i make a method click on tabs okay after that driver dot manage as i explained you before that how to use the implicit weight driver dot manage method then after timeout method then implicitly wait 20 second time unit is second okay now after that i have i am going to applying this implicit weight on which i am going uh, on deals here if you want if i want to find it out the web element of deal then or i want to click on this deal then i have to find it out the web element from here we can find it out here firstly you have to go over there click here and then after that click over here check it out that here is the id primary header deals so we can find it out this deal with the help of id so i write it out in the program driver dot find element by id and use this id primarily header deals and after that use the click function because i am going to click over there so friends let's run this program right click over here and then h test and test Let's wait. It will take some time because Xvidia dot co dot in is very heavy site and it it will take time to load. process is going on yes it is running friends please watch it that it is taking time to load because it is very heavy site watch here it is still in running process that's why we have to use the wait
yes the process is going on let's click on the deals you can check over there expedia.co.in deals now we are going on the deals page it is still running I have chosen a very heavy site to explain this concept that's why it is taking too much time How much time it will take? It is taking too much. Yeah, it's an out. Now we are on the deal page. Here are the deals. Okay, friends. This is the concept of implicit weight. Now only one point is left. What are the what is the limitation of impl to use implicit weight? As I told you that if we set wait time 10 second of second 10 second, but all the component load in 5 second, then next 5 second is waste because it will consume all 10 second if you use implicit weight. So to avoid this time wastage, we will use explicit weight. I will make next video on implicit weight and then after on the fluent weight. So friends, if you like my video, please like it, comment it, share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Because if you subscribe my channel, you will get not notification of the next video. If you have any question, any query about it, so please comment me. You can ask any question related to the topic. I will you give you the response as early as possible. So friends, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Have a good day. Thank you so much.